Hi everyone, I'm Sam. Today I'm going to introduce you to my core collection. These brushes are going to help you get your foundation flawless. We have here the contour brush, the pointed foundation brush, the detailer brush, which also you can use as a lipstick brush, and the buffing brush. I'm going to show you how to use them. Now two of these brushes I would use for foundation. Different types of foundation, but foundation nonetheless. The first one is my pointed foundation brush. This one I would use with the liquid foundation. I would also use this one with concealer under the eyes. Um, and this one, which is my buffing brush, this one I might use with um, a cream to powder foundation. So something that's in a compact that needs to be worked into the skin, or a mineral foundation, this would be really good for. But it can also be used for applying blusher, bronzer and highlighter. But today I'm going to use the pointed foundation brush. So I'm working with a liquid foundation and we're working from the centre of the face outwards. This is a very light foundation because my skin's pretty good at the moment and I don't need a lot of coverage. And I think that if you don't need a lot of coverage, then why put it on? So it's a great little brush which is getting around the nose and under the eyes. So we're working outwards towards the jaw. quicker you work the better um, because depending on the foundation you use some of them set so you'll get a better finish if you work quickly. Moving on to my detailer brush I'm just going to use this with a concealer just where I need it. So I'm just putting a tiny bit of concealer just in the dark circle and working it across and then pushing the brush rather than dragging it so that you can get more coverage. I'm also going to use this detailer brush just to take a bit of that concealer just around the nose. Always tends to be a little bit red there. And anywhere else you need a little bit of extra coverage because remember this is a really light foundation I've used. I'm just going to set that foundation and concealer with my buffing brush. I'm using a pressed powder looks like that, just to apply this and I'm just going to take the powder just through the central panel of the face so anywhere it's not considered attractive to be shiny. So forehead, around the nose, chin, under the eyes. Now moving on to my contour brush, I'm going to use this for two different things. I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of a highlight in. So I'm using a cream highlighter that looks like that. You can also use a powder because obviously all the bristles that these brushes are made from are super soft tacklon, uh, which means that they're synthetic. So they're absolutely fine with creams and absolutely fine with powders. So we're going to work some of this cream onto the brush and we're going to take this just onto the cheekbone and the brow bone just to give us a really nice flush of youth I like to think of it as. And now I'm going to move on to a bronzer and I'm just going to put a little bit of shape in the face. Same brush. Just down the contour of the face. Follow the cheekbone. In circular motions just blending it up towards that highlight. Now if you're not really into wearing much eyeshadow, you can actually also use this brush just to take a little bit of your bronzer just through the contour of your eye, just to give a little bit of warmth. And on a final note, I'll just show you the case. To make it extra easy for you to travel with and for you to keep at home, um, I've got this case which Velcro shuts so it can go in a handbag and not destroy your brushes. Now when you're at home and you want to keep it on your dressing table, you just fold this one over, pull on the toggle and it will stand up for you. There's also a space here for a few extra brushes should you need them. I hope that's been interesting and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.